You got London pizza right here. New York is the best place in the world. New York's the best. Why is that? Hello. Everybody is happy. Hey, how are you? How's your day? What you been up to? Hey, everyone's just like, your next place. How's your change? How's your vacation? How are you? Nice and friendly. And here, people just don't want to speak. I think it's if you're local or not, because we're from New York. I always say that New York, everyone is mean. Come out here. Look, I'm talking to you guys, and you're complete strangers, and everybody seems so nice to me so maybe it's the accents maybe they like your accent out there and they're nice to you and you guys are nice to us because you like our accents maybe this is amazing though what should i order what should i order wait first time this what I get great no no no. i can't it's too much it's, it's too much it's a lot it's it's like i literally eat that myself i don't have an english accent you did when you came up you said hello Friday morning, 10 a.m. here in uh, Newcastle, England. There we go, that's nice. We went to pubs, we met some people, you know. Can't always choose your company. To do some vlogging today, I was trying to do more last night, but honestly, my man was just in the background, really, every time I turn on the camera, photo bombing. But this is what's called a disco loadout, because at 10 o'clock, they turn it right from a show to a straight up fucking disco club. You can hear the bass. We're gonna take a look out here. Dog. There's leftover cheese on the grill. I'll just use that. It's the lounge area. The door to my bedroom. This whole thing is rock. You're on a double decker, so we are high up. Early morning. Manchester. Um, I haven't had too much time to vlog. Because this shit's crazy. Sometimes it just gets difficult. I'm out here. I hope everybody's doing good out there in the States. I met a lot of people out here. Had some fans of the channel randomly, which is pretty fucking cool. Another country. Right now, there's a bar up the road. Where my guys are gonna come to if it's not too, too overwhelmingly busy. But being that it's, I drop my joint. Got some lemon haze that actually tastes like lemon and fucking sticky shits. Yeah, Manchester's beautiful. I don't really know if, like where I'm at, but uh, no, 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 it's not. We can just see trees. The other bad news is this bar looks so fucking packed. Nobody's gonna come out with me to it, but that's okay. Cause um. You know. Oh, there's room upstairs on the roof, though. So you guys think Teddy's tough, but I forgot to do my job, so now I gotta do push-ups. I'm doing 20. Uh, uh, wait a no! You can do it, man. Four more. Four more. <laughs> 18. Dig deep. Dig deep. Ain't nothing but a peanut. What does he get? Yeah. Yeah. What? I don't want to go out. Whoa! Where are we about to go? Huh? No way, you're so... Dude. <laughs> you're strong. Oh, I'll Gonna get your bump checked out. Good morning. Good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. It's morning for me. The house is in. Dogs are at the vet. I. Everything's fine. Abner has a bump. He has to get checked out. Last couple of days, no vlog yesterday because yesterday I tax stuff. I was gonna try to fly to Las Vegas to go and meet up with someone who's. I don't like the term hater, but. Ah. Someone that uh, had heavy critiques of me, but God damn it. But they didn't want, they didn't want to smoke. They didn't want to have no conversation in person. They saw this motherfucking hat tag hanging out and they got scared. But anyway, if you're out there and you feel like you have a grievance to air out, please do it in person. I'll buy you dinner. I feel like on the internet, there's just too much distance. People don't talk to me wild in real life. So got a problem, hit me up on a direct email, book some sort of arrangements, and then we'll get you an interview and see how you really feel. Handle like adults, like a business. Other than that, the last couple days have been a little nut. I've been drawing a lot. We have this AI board, idea board. I did a little painting. Probably doesn't look like much. Probably 10 hours of painting maybe? 10? 11? 8? Six? I don't know. It's a lot. It's not a small amount. There's another drawing. Yeah, working on some just new stuff for AI. I've got a lot. A lot of drawing. Ern is still in London. Be sure he comes home tomorrow. Today's Tuesday? Yeah, he comes home tomorrow. One of the big things that I wanted to drop, like one of the most popular items of clothing that we made, the old Boost God New York Godzilla shirt. This is the old printout from the graphic, which is cool. I like this shirt. I like this graphic, but it's uh, time to revamp, and I'm going to do a Mecha Godzilla, which, you know, in drawing, 
art, all kinds of shit. You need reference, you know, it's like very important. Once you have enough reference over enough time, you learn how to draw. You know, like when you're first starting out, like what, like what, you don't know how to draw an eagle. You have to look at fucking pictures of an eagle, right? I mean, I've been mildly obsessed. Not almost obsessed. I've always loved Godzilla. Everybody knows I'm super into Japanese art. I mean, obviously I'm American, so. Redneck, biker, white guy that goes to Japan, even though I'm not a biker or redneck, but I have the vibe. I came from the, I came from the well. Same, same, same river. But anyway, my addictive personality, the ridiculousness that ensues, looking for reference, Mecha Godzilla's. I mean, it's cool. I can take screen grabs and stuff, but I want to see like every piece of articulation. And long story short, basically, um, like I basically bought some toys. Godzilla toy. They released different versions, like very Japanese toy, like theater exclusives, and which are kind of the cooler ones. Look at this bad motherfucker. This thing's two hundred dollars. Look at him. He's solid red, homie. This thing's so sick. Look at this motherfucker, dog. Bruh. Look at him. I gotta have it. I gotta get this dude. These motherfuckers are sick. So I'm gonna get a couple of these. So yeah, if you don't know, there's just tons of different, like really cool, like one off. Yeah, there's vintage ones or whatever that are super cool, and like companies went out business also these other ones that are really cool they're see-through and shit and like glittery and you can really go in there's five thousand dollar godzillas just to put it in perspective but one of the ones that's more rare on here on this website which i think is so funny is the gold godzilla i almost bought it's really expensive it was seven hundred dollars i know that's really stupid i don't need a seven hundred dollar action figure i didn't buy it that's why i almost bought it can't find it on this website oh there's a solid gold one for 1.5 million dollars damn look at this dude I'm gonna send that over. The address is in the description. But they have the glitter gold Godzilla. The old one. This might be the new one. I don't know. Looks like a newer one. That thing resells 700, 900 bucks, something like that. And it's just glitter. That's literally a regular Godzilla with fucking gold glitter on it. And it comes off in your hand, the disco Godzilla. But they didn't inject it, but the ones that are worth the most money are obviously the ones that have the glitter sprinkled on them. So I may just find an injected one because I don't really care. It's the old one. I just kind of like the gold because it's like he just came out of some shit. He's about to fuck shit up. Anyway, um, I gotta go to the shop and get Maddie issues. <laughs> Yeah. You still have your drone or did you sell that? Here you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah. Dude, I got the Goku shoes. I got the Goku shoes. And I'm so Super Saiyan God. God. I'm, a, I'm a winner. Oh, look at the paper. Oh, Goku hey, got versus Frieza. Shit. Shit. I'm losing yeah. my mind. Teddy. Oh my god. He's a super fan round. Dude. Put him on. Look at them socks. Oh, no, Damn, unlace them and shit. I feel like I just gave my son a bike on Christmas and he just tried to ride it in the house. Teddy! Pick all the characters. Oh my god! <laughs> Teddy, I'm losing my mind. It's like Christmas. Give me yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Dude, these are so good. The cool. unanimous vote was that you deserved them. If someone else comes through, they can get a pair too. But I'm glad he didn't think it was nepotism. I got really, no, no, not I really wanted to work hard for these. Yeah, you did. You set the standard. You set the goal line. Look at these tongues, baby. Yeah. Oh my god. Rick, Rick loves Japanese animation. This cloud? What? Embroidered? Damn. Dude, look at the inside. Special Goku language. Fucking yeah. Adidas the Rich, man. Oh, shit. I'm my shit right now. What? Oh, I didn't even notice the one star of all. I bet you each one's got a different star. Oh, seven? Teddy. Oh, seven? What? Dude, that means I got the fur. Ah! This is so cool. I don't even know what that says, but I like it. Dude. It says you won the shoe. I'm a winner. I've never been winner. Every time you kick someone in the face with them shit, she'll be like, I'm a winner. Wow. Oh, I gotta make videos. Dude, I'm so dude, nice. Teddy, this is I mean, I'm so happy right yeah, now. Yeah, dog. Did you see his video, Rick? Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was sitting outside with uh, Okay. You witnessed the video. <laughs> Not doing here? Yeah. I work here, young lady. First off, screaming for outside yeah, last week. I was up here and I was like, what's going on? Customers in the shop? Yeah. <laughs> you stack the DVDs up, mm -hmm. it does the same thing. Uh, it does the same thing? Same thing. Like, Get them all, dog. I can plug you with all of them. I'll, make a I'll put you in touch with people to purchase them. <laughs> I want to say I picked the coolest ones, but these are the coolest. Yeah, they're the cool ones. Go to, dog. <laughs> Lead dude. You got number one. Head number, dude. He-Man. He-Man Ultra Boost coming soon. They got Game of Thrones Ultra Boost coming on some wax. They're going to be like houses? Like yeah, like, there's uh, the house of fucking Targaryen. I've, I'm caught up, but I'm about to boycott the whole 
whole show because of the shoe. I'm straight up about to not watch the last season because of this fucking shoe. Oh These God. aren't even the real renderings. There's like real. Where's the real shoe? Oh yeah, here's like one. That's. I mean, the colorway would be fine, but then the back of it has this tab. It's House of Targaryen, and then the fucking tone. It's like speaks it out. Yeah, too it's much. just too nerdy. Man, I love context, but don't don't mix a HBO show with my shoe. I don't want an Entourage Ultra Boost. I don't want a Sopranos Ultra Boost. Fuck it. Yeah, that's like a niche market. You so know, niche like, niche market. Yeah, it's whatever. Back around. That's Super limited. I hear the Game of Thrones Ultra Boost is not super limited. Yeah, that's what I heard. Because all the moms live there. Yeah, she's like, I have on my house of Targaryen. I slept with my brother. <laughs> I hope the insole has Joffrey fucking oh, dead as fuck on the insole. Like, just purple veins. Yeah, just, just like, uh, like, they should make only really kid sizes for our, the, oh what's his God, name? I, I oh my God, Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion, the only kid sizes available. They should have let me fucking manage this. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Thank you, sir. You too. It's safe out there. All right. Jesus Christ. Like, it smells nut. Green dot, sangria. Mm. Sangria. But then the real kicker is they have these fucking seven gram jars. And I just am all about Japanese shit. That was a big thing. Branding. 200 bucks for the seven gram jar. But holy fuck. <coughs> Whoa. All right. So I bought some Godzilla shit. <coughs> I narrowed it way down though. I did not spend anything crazy. I thought I was gonna spend a bunch of money. I spent 300 bucks. Got like four toys. Maybe 400 bucks for shipping. Maddie got his shoes. Obviously, he's super excited about it. That felt good to get someone who's actually stoked on it. That's what I want. If you feel like you have a similar reaction, then um, contest is open until Friday. Send me a video. Oh, but the day <coughs> is kind of getting away from me because I need to draw. We got some drawings to do. I'm gonna run out of time because I gotta have to edit this vlog because it does not edit itself. So really, I gotta go. I want to talk about these shoes with you guys. The Hue Hues. Don't you think it's funny that people who don't don't know anything about shoes when you walk by them, they think that this says Hue Hue. They probably Google the Hoo Hoos. Where can I find the Adidas Hoo Hoos? I actually like this shoe. I'm not gonna give you a full review right now. Well, fuck it. I'll give you a little review real quick. I don't care. It's not gonna be for everybody. And I honestly am surprised that it's for me because I didn't think that I was gonna like it once it got here, once Ern got his. You know, there's a lot of parts of the shoe that are not my favorite things that's not PK. Very similar, but not exactly like. It's more of a sports mesh. A lot like the old NMD these used to be the ones that I don't like the mesh in these where it had that little panel underneath it's not quite the same but there is definitely like some double mesh here it is breathable to a point like I mean it has a breathability to it but the shoes not that breathable it's definitely like insulated a little more than an ultra boost it's not as comfortable as an ultra boost it's a model that's I don't know. Like at first, I'm kind of like, all right, they basically remade the Ultra Boost with some change. Like the Ultra Boost weird cousin came with the crazy colors, and the heel cups are slightly different. The torsion cut is slightly different. The upper is slightly different. Bulbous cage just kind of like takes little cues. Bulbous shoe and the Ultra Boost and the MD and the Pharrell. Kind of just like a hybrid, you know? And that's, I feel like that's what Adidas has been doing lately, especially with like the Never Made series and all these things. They just keep taking a few of their ideas and just like making them all together it's fine I guess but it's a little Taco Bellish not my favorite thing I don't love when they do that but I don't dislike this shoe this actually did come out good I don't love all the other some of the other stuff they've been doing with that good and actually does feel pretty comfortable on foot it's not ultra boost comfort but it's fairly close like I said the biggest difference being the the upper itself extremely true to size though for me you know I don't know about the uh, some of the other Pharrells but this has like a weird like a deeper insole in it than Ultra Boost, so it's a little strange to me. It's like a completely different insole. You can take that out if you need to, if you have to size down. Lacing systems attached to the outside, just stitch. You can uncage that. I'm sure someone online has already uncaged it. There's a 3M little doohickey right there. Little suede accents. It's just like a little artsy project. You know, it's like, cool. It's a little build together. It's not gonna blow your mind. It's nice that the retail price was less. 150 is nice for the shoe, but a little better than 180 or 220 or 240, whatever. You still get a Continental Soles. I mean, I think it's a cool shoe. Is it my favorite fucking shoes come out this year? No. Do I like them? Will I wear them? Yes. Pretty much my review on it. You know, it's got boost, comfy. It's not quite an ultra boost. I kind of wish Adidas would branch off of these things. I've been thinking about it a lot. I guess I don't wish they'd branch off of it. That's not fair to say, because I don't really care. I like all of the sock-like uppers. I was looking at my shoes the other day <clears throat> and I realized that a lot of people who don't like what Adidas has done at all the last couple of years is because they just don't fuck with sock-like uppers. I think discovering, like stepping away from shoes for a while and not really rocking with shit, discovering sock uppers is what kind of like made 
me be like, oh shit. So that's what I appreciate, although I, but when they do something else, I also don't appreciate it. You know, it's like got the 700, which I like. I think the Moabs are super sick. I'm definitely gonna grab that colorway. But you know, it's like when I wear the bulkier shoes, I don't enjoy wearing them as much. So it's kind of like a trade off, like fashion over function. And my whole embodiment is just like, I just appreciate the feeling of the boost in my foot. I, I don't really love wearing shoes without boost. That's just like what it is. Which will bring me to like my final fucking point. Cause yes, I trolled you because it was fun, but also I was sort of forced. Since this all began, however many years I've been doing this now, you know, I've said a lot of things, done a lot of things. I've made a lot of jokes, pissed a lot of people off. I made a lot of people happy. The Nike thing, when the Presto showed up here in my size, I catch a lot of shit all the time, not ever just trying something on. I created this environment where I'm like, look, boost only, obviously that is insane incentive for people to fuck with me. It's all fun and games, but some people take this shit way, way serious, way too seriously. You know, it's like people come meet me. They think, you know, if someone's wearing Nikes, someone will be like, oh, sorry, I'm wearing Nikes. Like, I don't, I don't care. I've never cared. Like, it's just jokes. It's entertainment for the most part. In real life, like if, yeah, maybe if you wear Nikes, you're my friend, I might say something funny, like just to like make a joke. But it's just a joke. Like we're still gonna get a fucking ice cream. So it's not like malicious in any way. It never has been. It's just joke. I'm gonna be a comedian full time one day and that's just, I'm just in training. The truth of the matter is that I do very much appreciate uh, the shoes that I've purchased. You guys know what I like. And I very much have been jaded by the constant exploitation of nostalgia from Nike. I'm fine when I want to do my own nostalgia searching, but like if they dropped a Godzilla Ultra Boost tomorrow, I'd probably be a little bummed. But I don't like mixing everything together. A Tattoo Ultra Boost, bummed. Yeah, I catch a lot of shit and people are like, yo, you'll never even try one of these on. Yo, these are pretty comfortable. You won't even try it. So on the third team got here and I knew that if I didn't fucking at least put it on that I was gonna catch just hell for no reason and then I had to ask myself why I was refusing refusing to try them on it was because I didn't want to hear people say certain things like oh you're a fucking sellout blah 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 so I figured the best way to do that was to trick them so I'm not going against what I believe in or want to do for myself and also somewhat appeasing the people who are like Teddy quit being ridiculous because I do realize that I've made some people feel or made it seem like I am military Militantly, emotionally invested in what shoes you wear, which is not the fucking cake. I just don't like certain things anymore. Just like ex-girlfriend. I used to love Nike a lot. They turned me off with a lot of the stuff they did. It doesn't turn me back on for them just like re-release stuff later. Also don't like a lot of the shit that Adidas is doing. Adidas had a really nice little short period of time there where they just, like, almost seemed like they couldn't not hit to me. Started missing and they started missing. And then now they hit every other so off. Not like it used to be. There's isn't a, not gonna wear this shoe. I I just don't like it. Like, it's not, I don't know how to explain it any further. I don't like the swoosh anymore. The Trefoil, I still like, or this is even Trefoil. The Performance logo, I still like. Trefoil, I still like. Sometimes it comes off fucking weird to me. Depends on how it's used. It's just like my own weird, arty fucking perspective on product. There's something about the swoosh now that just turns me off. I don't know what it is. When I was younger, I used to really like it. So with this shoe particularly, you know, like if it, there was no branding on it, I would probably wear it. There's things about this shoe that are crazy comfortable. The upper on this, port mesh lining on the inside and then this other mesh on the outside, fucking super comfortable. I was really surprised, like honestly, for, as far as uppers go. I mean, it would be pretty interesting to see what that upper felt like on Ultra Boost because it's not the same as an Ultra Boost upper. I don't want to say it's better or worse, but it's definitely super comfortable. Absolutely, without a doubt. But that's where it stops. Oh, upper feels nice. The sole itself isn't really that great. I mean, it does have like a little squish to it for sure. I'm not a Nike expert on their soles. I don't know if this is a certain technology in the Presto. It's not claiming or trying to be boost, but it doesn't feel as comfortable. Also, it's a pretty narrow cut on the uh, medial side of the shoe is brutal. I feel this sort of plating when I take a step. It's not the most comfortable there. That's really my main beef, frayed lines and shit. The quality on these is not amazing, but who knows? I'm cutting this off, so if you win these shoes, just get over it. Um, and then this fucking tongue. This sponge tongue has no point at all. Like this being just stapled to the outside as, a, as an art critique seems forced and afterthought and just like we gotta use this thing. I honestly think that the shoe would look better. It's just the regular fucking Presto joints but I know a lot of people aren't gonna agree with that. I don't like this. I don't. This was clever how they used the swoosh to pin down the tongue that you don't need. But then it just brings me back to the fact that you don't need the tongue. I mean I've always appreciated the Presto. Some people will try to say the Ultra Boost is modeled after the Presto. Eh. Kinda gotta like look into designers and who works where and who really makes these shoe companies because the fucking name on the 
building doesn't really make it. I know in sports y'all say you play for the team and not the players. I don't really agree with that. I think that the, the team should play for the players. <laughs> People who are designing the shoes are the ones who are, deserve the accolades, not the, not the company or the name. Let's say that they come from the same genetics. I'm gonna give these away. There's a size 13. We're gonna do a contest with StockX. That's who has provided them. I'm not gonna announce the contest today because I don't necessarily know yet. I have uh, details to do it. We'll just wait till tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how you... But just to clear that up, like I'm not... Uh, I don't appreciate a lot of the things that Nike did during the years where I was a supporter of their brand. I'm currently not a huge fan of some of the things that Adidas does as a supporter of their brand. And I'm also an artist living in the world trying to make my own mark. So that's just like what it is. That's what this channel is. And anything that you've taken from that, not that, is just like a narrative that isn't my intention or that you've created. No, I don't plan on buying any more Nikes, you know? I, I, it, no. And really, trolling only really works on the people who aren't paying attention. If any of you guys who are really paying attention to what I do and like watch and like give a shit, you know I'm fucking around. People who hear a little blurb and then they get triggered, say all this crazy shit and they, whoa, dude, we're all just having fun. Kind of like when someone walks in the room after a joke's been told. That's the beauty of trolling with this shit. I'm sorry if I annoyed you with it, but it was really fun. He tells tomorrow how to win these. Yeah, I gotta do a thumbnail, dog. And be like, have I switched sides? Like, oh, also, someone said that they had a problem with, someone's complaining about the way that I title the videos. They don't like the plus, plus, plus. And I just wanna take a second. I said this on Twitch last night. If I can get permission from 90% of the audience to clickbait for the next year, I would be the clickbait champion of the internet, okay? Let's just not get that twisted for even half a second. I would be the clickbait commander. The clickbait chief. Yeah, I said chief and I used it in the way that it actually works in the head of some shit. Just go back and look at all the vlogs that we could have clickbaited my ass off. Listen, I titled the vlogs correctly because I want you to watch, know what you're watching. But if y'all want to give me permission to fuck up these people's lives, clickbait, so that the fucking comments are nothing but people being mad, grant away. Because I got no problem with it. Because you know my clickbait cleverness is on another motherfucking level. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I gotta get to drawing. I love y'all. If you find any vintage Japanese Godzilla shit, holler at me.